Can we give you a vehicle? And these people do not give you a vehicle. But Tia Michael says, uh, yeah, you know, I got a way of making passive income. If you want, uh, you can go and invest in ATM machines in Australia because in America is already too, you know, it's already, they're already all sold out, but you can, you can do it in Australia. Right? But how much can the ATM machine return to you for your investment? It's passive income, I know, but it's not much. You know what I mean? It's not much. So you're not going to get rich on that. Uh, all respects to Mr. T. Harbaker, because he's the greater, one of the greatest gurus uh, in, in terms of wealth, man, of wealth building. But you need the right vehicle, you see. Uh, this is our vehicle here, and I'll explain more, more to you about it later. Huh? And this is your destination. You want to be rich, as I mentioned to you, you need to have cash inflow more than outflow. Understand? You need to have a money tree. And it's the only way that you get rich and richer. Because this, today, uh, today uh, what I want to tell you all, uh, if you want to become wealthy, is that every single one of you here have to think to yourself, my target destination is the money tree. Money tree meaning what? No, meaning uh, that I have a tree which is big enough to give me fruit. Uh, that means I can pluck fruit uh, every month. Uh, I can pluck fruit and use it. Uh, and the tree is still growing bigger. You understand what I'm saying? That means that uh, you got the fruit, you got the money, put it in your pocket, right? I have one, one, one client, for example, our old lady, right? She gets ten thousand dollars because she doesn't spend much, but she gets ten thousand dollars on the average per month from her investing, safe investing, right? But her money tree is still growing. Huh? Kate, you know, right? Chen Chichin, right? She does a lot of her work right? because she's a, she's a staunch Methodist, so she does a lot of philanthropy. I think most of her money goes to charity. But that's fine. Right? She's an old lady, but she's happy. She doesn't work. See? Because she's got the money tree. And the money tree yeah, is not only good for you, it's good for your children, it's good for your grandchildren. Because once a money tree is planted, if you teach them how to maintain that money tree, it's there forever. By right, uh, unless we have a World War tree. Which, which by that stage, uh, we won't worry about making money already. See this, this, this pretty looking girl here? When she was 16, uh, she won 3 million pounds, you know. That's 10 million, at that time about 10 million Singapore dollars. And you know what she got to say is, I honestly wish I never won the lottery money and knowing what I know now, I should have just given it all back to them. There is such a thing as a lottery curse. Right? There are numerous cases where lotto winners getting divorced due to stress and losing everything. And even some of them uh, even get killed at the hands of greedy relatives. <laughs> My goodness, you win all that money, it becomes a curse. Right? A BBC program called The Fifth Gear. Anybody? Fifth gear, you know about cars? You all don't have cable TV. I'm sure some of you do. Uh, fifth gear, right? So fifth gear is about all about these cars. They talk about cars. So one of the programs that they had was regarding uh, a lot, a uh, 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 what do you call a uh, pools, pools winner in UK. So this gentleman uh, was just a mechanic in a small town, right? And he he won the pools, uh, so he got something like 15 million pounds or something like that, which is a lot of money, right? So you know what they what they, the program they had was. If you, I mean, the, the theme of the program was like, if you have a lot of money, endless amount of money, and if you're a car fanatic, uh, what car would you choose, you see? So they, they got, they got the, the, the fifth gear team to go there and bring all the exotic cars, uh, bring it to the garage with all the exotic cars for him to test. So he can test which car he wants, so he's gonna buy. Then they also went to his house, and they went to his house, you can see, he bought the latest camper already, he bought motorcycle, he bought this, he bought that, I don't know, he bought all those things, uh, right? And he now, now he's, he's shopping for the most exotic cars, and I don't think he's gonna stop at one. So he's looking at what, the Veyron, uh, he's looking at, uh, at uh, you know, Lamborghini Contest, uh, he's looking at the Ferraris, uh, he's looking at, at Aston Martin, uh, all this. Uh, right? I don't think he's going to stop at one. But he's really spent all that money and he's on, on the road spending the money. So from the moment he wins the money, uh, he's getting poorer. Right? This woman, uh, why is she saying that she, 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 she regrets winning the lottery? Imagine uh, if you got 10 million Singapore dollars now. You can go and blow $5 million, by all means go and blow it. If you $5 million you plan properly, uh, let me tell you, uh, this money will take you and the next generations uh, into, into security and comfort for the rest of your lives and you will live a kind of lifestyle uh, that other people cannot live. Yeah, you won't be in that 95% of the masses anymore. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because these people don't have the money tree. They don't have the right mindset. See, so winning the lottery or so, millions of dollars is useless because majority of people who win 
right? You go and see them three, four years later, what happens to them? They're back to square one. Makes no sense, right? If you have all that money and you know what to do with it, let me tell you, you can have a lot of fun and still be rich, right? They can have every day, uh, five million dollars, come on, you know? Um, if you get 10% uh, from, your in, from, from, your, from your investments, let's say every month on the average, right? You have five million dollars, how much is that? Per month. 10% per month, 500,000? 5,000 a month not enough for you to spend and enjoy. <coughs> right?